Okay, in this video, I'm gonna walk through some of the engagement functionality we have inside of our platform. If you're familiar with Ligna and you've built a website within our platform using our data forms, or you have external websites that so you're leveraging one of our pixels or one of our embeddable data forms, and a lead has came through, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So what you're seeing here is just a, a normal lead that I added manually. Uh, you of course can import leads through CSV and you know as much data as you wanna bring into the, to the system. However, the lead is bare, meaning you're not seeing the engagement data that you would normally see if this lead came in through one of the online assets, your website, landing page, funnel, whatever. We have additional engagement data, such as how long they've been on the site, what links they clicked, how long they were on those links, and just more data that you can look at to give you a better idea of what this lead is doing on your site which is super helpful, obviously, before you call them, you know exactly what they've been looking at uh, on your site. So imagine when you're doing email campaigns, right? So we track, obviously, email opens, email link clicks, and, you know, the, the stats around email opens and link clicks and all that stuff, um, you know, is, is obviously a, a metric that everyone follows. But in reality, what you really should be looking at is the engagement. You can have a very low open rate, but you have, uh, you know, significant engagement on your, on your funnels um, if you don't have that data, uh, then it's it's difficult to really gauge your campaign. And, and even more so, uh, you know, obviously you can see on a, a segmented landing page that's only done from email, you can see the engagement, but you don't really know who they are, right? And so with our system, we have the ability now when you send an email out, whether it's through a cadence, through a workflow, through bulk actions, or through a one-off email, when they click on a link on your on your uh, email and they go out to your landing page or website, we know who they are and we automatically tag back their engagement into the system. And so, if you build out a site in our platform, or if you and use our data forms or use our, our our Ligna system, and you also email from our Ligna system, there's nothing you need to do in addition to it. It's all built in and it works seamless. And I'll show you an example of that. However, we also built it where you can do it on external sites. So you can use, you know, whatever site you currently have. Uh, we have a pixel or engagement pixel you can put on that site. And you can also use external email engines uh, to email to your landing pages. As long as that data exists inside of Ligna, we actually map all that back for you automatically. Super helpful, obviously, you know, as I mentioned, when you start looking at open rates, you really want to look at that engagement that's happening. Plus now, you can filter and sort by who is really engaging with your content and put them into a whole nother campaign, right? And send them emails, put them in your newsletter, you know, do your outreach uh, campaigns and, and everything that you would want to do to people that are actually engaging in your content. So I'm going to jump right in here real quick. So, you know, as I mentioned, if you import leads into our platform or add a lead manually, this is what it looks like. It's bare. There's no stats. There's nothing uh, to get the stats to start coming through, you would need to email this lead uh, and they need to click on a link, right? And so as long as you have a website built in our platform and you're emailing from our platform, there's no additional steps that you need to do. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on this email icon. I'm gonna select my email account. I'm just gonna grab this template. And I'm gonna go ahead and just email out. So any of these links that they click on, uh, this is gonna take them uh, directly to the site built inside of Ligna. And what will end up happening is this is gonna tag them to the platform to allow them to uh, ultimately be tracked with engagement. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna come over here to the pixel side. So while I'm waiting for that email to come in, um, you can set up pixels. So you can do this on external websites. So you don't necessarily have to use our system and our email engine for this to work. So if I come over here and add a pixel, I'm gonna add a little test pixel here. I'm just gonna put in Ligna.io and I'm gonna hit add. So if I create this pixel, over here you're gonna see, and by the way, on pixel mapping and data fields, you need to watch that other video, but basically one of our pixels, which is this data pixel, you can put on your website if you have forms that you're not using that are, are not our forms. So they're forms that you've built in some other system if you put this pixel on your site, any lead that's submitted to that uh, form will come directly into Ligna with this pixel. Now, some need to be mapped. Uh, you have some not so obvious field names uh, for your forms. And so there's a video on the field mapping. But over here, all you need to do is you're gonna grab your tracking pixel. 
This is the pixel that's going to track all your web visits. Uh, if you want the engagement, you certainly need to have this on here. So this pixel needs to be on here, but this is just for web traffic and engagement that happens on the traffic, not actually mapping it back to an actual lead that's sent from this system. Uh, the, again, this data pixel, if you're using forms that are not built by us and you want those leads to come into Ligna, you can add this pixel. However, if you're using our forms on your external websites, there's no need for this. Actually, this will not work with our data form. So make sure you're not using this data pixel if you're using our data forms on your external websites. And then this is the engagement pixel. So this engagement pixel, you're going to put both the, all of these uh, above the close of the body or in the head, uh, preferably at the, you know, above the close of the body of your site. And it goes in order. So you're going to put these in order, um, this one being on the top, right? And so if you have this on your external website and you're emailing from Ligna to your external website, there's nothing else you need to do. However, if you want the engagement data from an external emailing system to map back to leads inside of Ligna, you're going to want to import your leads into Ligna and then export them out and you'll get an ID that's associated with those leads. And I'll have training on exactly how to do this, but basically you're just going to use a UTM parameter. It's just PID uh, that you put in the unit. I'll have an actual video for that. But basically you would use that and you would use your mail merge field from whatever system that you have uh, for the ID that's in our system. And then that way when you pass over that link, it's picking up through the engagement pixel, it's checking to see if that lead exists in our platform, and it's creating a fingerprint and associating all the activity that happens with that lead. Uh, and so that's all you need is this engagement pixel. Now again, if you're emailing from our platform, just take this pixel with the tracking pixel, put it on your external website, and now you can email directly through the platform to your external website and you'll start getting this data. So as I mentioned here, again, the email sent, I don't have you know any stats here, uh, other than, let me refresh this, other than um, I haven't opened the email yet. So let me go out to my mail provider here and um, click on the email. And so now I have, I have the email and I am going to open it if my browser over here would, would work. And so now this should tell me that I've opened my email, right? So I've opened it and now I'm gonna click one of the links that's inside the system. And so what it's going to do, it's gonna take me out to the page that I've sent it to in my, in my email. And now I'm going through, right? I'm doing all my engagement. I'm looking at your landing page. I'm, I'm doing everything. Now I, I haven't filled out a form. I haven't gone through anything yet. Uh, but because you've clicked on this link from our system, we know exactly who you are. And now we're gonna map that back to your lead. So you'll see inside the lead details now, no stats, but now if I hit refresh, I'm gonna re get all the engagement data that is being loaded up. So now, and what's great about this, by the way, you may have leads that have been visiting your website in the past, right? And you have one of our pixels on your site and they've spent time on your website. When you email them and they click on that link, you'll start getting the engagement from the past. So you'll see here that I've been on your website. Well, obviously I've been on my own website a long time. So now I'm getting all of this from the last time I was on the site of everything that I've done. So now I have these stats. I know what I've done, what pages I've gone to, how long I've spent on those pages, you know, all that great stuff uh, within here. And it's tied to this lead that I mainly added to the system. It's not associated with any landing page or anything that came in through one of our previous engagements, uh, pixels or anything like that. I've sent an email, I've clicked on that link, I've gone out to the site, and of course we give you that email open and link click and that data, but now I have all the engagement data. So me being um, not fixated on open rates and, and click through rates and things like that with my emails, I'm more interested in the ones that engage that are been on my site longer than X amount of times, you know, zero seconds on my site, you know, you probably think that's a bot, uh, even though we kind of scrape out for uh, non JavaScript bots and things like that. But, you know, if I spent zero seconds on your landing page, you know, I'm not really interested in calling you. I want the ones that have spent, you know, 20, 
30 seconds, um, you know, or beyond a minute, a couple of minutes on my website. Uh, and so I can filter through those, put them all in another list, whether it be a call queue or, you know, another email list, a more direct email, um, those types of things. And that way I'm able to really hone in on my data of the ones who are actually engaging. So again, if you have a site built in our platform, this is already built in, you can email and use the link to the site that's built in our platform and it'll automatically do this for you with data that you've imported, external data that you put into our platform, uh, either through manually entering them or importing them in through CSV, or you can send them to an external website. Just make sure you have the engagement pixel and the tracking pixel installed on your site that way you can start getting this data and start leveraging it in a more efficient way. Uh, that way you can segment your data and, and target it um, with, with better conversions. So yeah, more to come on this. I have a lot of other cool stuff that we're going to do with this. Uh, we do have the engagement uh, workflow where when leads come back to your website, you can trigger automation and things like that. This is certainly going to be built into that workflow uh, side, of the, uh, side of the house. Plus we have the sales feed component. If you haven't seen that, where it basically brings in all the ones that have come back to your website and opens and all in a nice little mashup. So that's going to be part of that. But, you know, at the end of the day, knowing and being able to segment based on, um, you know, engagement that's actually happening with your content is super important. So let me know what you think. Appreciate it.